All right, Joshua, here we go, buddy. All right, this is my this is my Helix 12. So I'm just I'm going to do it from start to finish. I just I just restored my factory settings. That way you can get it from the from the start. So let's power it up first. All right. <clears throat> Bear with me just a minute, buddy. I'm going to try to get you that way you won't have any questions after this. All right, so let it power up. All right, then we want to hit menu, then we want to go up to normal, and then normal, and then we want to exit, all right? So this should be, all right, there we go, and then we're getting it like it's factory setting, so everything's going to be like brand new, so I'm going to clear that out, exit that out. All right, now we're going to go to view to get to the next screen, and then I'm going to go menu, going to go, oh wait, let it, it's going to up, it's going to get let my uh let everything this this is because I have everything hooked up to my uh target lock so just don't worry about that all right so once the once the first screen's up just go menu menu twice and then you're gonna see setup go uh go scroll over to your right you want to go to your views right and then you're gonna go down so mega live is visible the chart view go all the way down to and then you're going to go all the way down to self-test. I like to have that showing. So it says hidden now. So just hit your right arrow and it's going to be visible. Then go down to GPS diagnostic. I like to see that. So go to the right and that's going to be viewed also. Accessory test is where it's at. Right there. Accessory test. Hidden. You want to click the right arrow so it's visible. So now I got everything visible that I want to show. If you want anything else visible, just go into the main menu. Just click menu twice. And when you see views, scroll down. And you can click on anything that says hidden. You just click it to the right and it'll now show on your screen. So then once you're done getting all your visible, everything visible you want to see on your screen, just hit exit exit and then exit again right make sure it's clear all right after it's clear then you just go back by hitting exit again right right by your exit tab just keep hitting exit and it's going to go back go back and now it's going to go all the way to your accessory test screen if you just keep hitting exit it's going to go back and back you up so now you can see everything that's connected that's visible right and so I have target lock. So my target lock is right under my Mega Live. So if you notice in your accessory test screen, I, and I also I plugged in my fuse. So everything should be working. So my fuse is plugged in for my Mega Live. So it's turned on. So then when you just see your Mega Live, 1.3 is the uh, software update I have because I updated it to 1.3 from 1.29. So if you see Mega Live, my version is 1.3 instead of 1.29 and see it's connected. So that way you know for sure if your system's actually even recognizing and connected to the source. So there you go. You see my, uh, my GPS is showing connected. So it's working with the unit and then my Mega Live and my target lock is hooked to this unit and they both connected because I have the fuse plugged in also if you have the switch turned on. So there you go. So when you view, when you have your accessories to be viewed, they'll show up in the, the accessory test view. You'll show everything that's actually connected and working properly and right there next to it, you see, ver you see the V1300, that's my Mega Live software version. And that's the serial number associated with my Mega Live. And there my Mega Live target lock version is 1.18 in my serial number. There you go. It's right in your accessory test. Make sure, like I said, I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to keep hitting exit, right? And then I'm going to go to my view. I'm sorry. Uh, go to menu, menu twice. And then... Uh, when you go, you got setup, then you got data source, then you got a, then you got it where it says views. That's everything you want to view. Just just tab down to it, 
And if it says hidden, click to the right, and now it's going to show visible. And then, like I said, when you exit out of it, you can now click uh, back up and keep going back. Just keep hitting your either your exit or your view. What I do, I hit exit, and it keeps backing up and 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 backing up. Now you're down to your accessory test. And like I said, there you go. You can see all your serial numbers and your software versions. V after the V, that means your software version. That number is your software. So just go to Hummingbird's website and make sure you have the update. Hope this helps, buddy. Thank you, man.